Hi everyone, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're gonna talk about my umbrella. I get a lot of questions about this. Why do I use it? What size is it? Which way to point it? I've used all kinds of modifiers over the years, all shapes and sizes. Right now in my career, I do like the shoot through umbrella. Mine is around 65 inches, but they also have some that are much bigger, 85, 86 inches, and much smaller. Understand that I like the size because it allows the light to spread nice and wide, okay? So you can get go even bigger. My studio is not that big, so a little bigger, I kind of bump into it now and then. A little smaller, it's not going to spread the light as wide and soft as I want it. Whether you choose to use a soft box or umbrella is really up to you. They're not right or wrong, it's just different preferences and style. When you're using a soft box, the inside is silver and the light is pointing inside the soft box and bouncing back to you. With that, the, the shadows are a little bit stronger. Tons of newborn photographers use soft boxes, octoboxes, and produce beautiful images. It's really up to the photographer. It's up to you to choose what modifier you like based on the style you're trying to achieve. Remember that light is subjective. You choose how you want that light to be portrayed on the subject and then find the tools that allow you to do the job that you need to do. And I've tried everything over the years. Right now, I really love these large, deep umbrellas. I use pro photo lighting, but regardless of what lighting you're using, the idea of a shoot through umbrella is it's supposed to shoot through. So there's a couple things I wanna talk about. Number one, when you put the umbrella in, you should make sure that this is pushed out as far as possible, okay? Why? Because you want that light to spread through the umbrella, okay? And so many times I will see that people have this umbrella all the way pushed out, and I'll show you. So many times they'll have it like this. Well, then it's not allowing the light to spread through this umbrella. And the whole point of having this nice white umbrella is that the light will spread and be beautiful and soft. It mimics window lighting. You can see my images that I don't really have strong shadows. Now I can use this high key, low key. I can use it on really dark images and really bright images. It's very versatile, but I want that light to spread nice and wide. So you're you be careful of this. You should not have this. You wanna push it all the way out as far as you can. And it may take a little nudging. Okay, and then make sure that the cover is wrapped around your light, especially with some lights. If this cover is not secure, the bulb can burn the cover and I've seen it happen. And you don't wanna catch it on fire. So you wanna make sure that this it covers all the way back on your light and it's not hitting the bulb. We don't have that issue with pro photo lights, but other lights where the bulbs are exposed, you wanna definitely be careful because it is a fire hazard. So you want the umbrella pushed all the way out. Now, some people say, well, do you shoot through this way or the other way? Well, it's a shoot through umbrella and it's translucent umbrella. So the purpose of this umbrella is to shoot through. It's called a translucent umbrella, and it's also called a shoot through umbrella. So it's meant to shoot through, so the light spreads nice and soft. And you can see how big this is. And it covers my whole subject. I use it on family, I use it on maternity, siblings, newborn. It's I use it all the time, every single day. And so some photographers will say, well, why am I shooting it through this way? and they'll have the light this way and the baby this way. And honestly, I have no idea. Preference of the photographer maybe? I don't know. It's not that it's wrong, but the purpose of this is shoot through. So it is meant to shoot through the umbrella. If you're using it this way, it's not that it's wrong. You just might not have a wide enough, soft enough, light that you're looking for. So hopefully that answers any questions you have. If not, feel free to leave it in the comments. Hey YouTube, thanks for coming to my channel. My name is Anna Brand and I would love if you would subscribe. By subscribing to my channel, you'll be notified of all of the amazing new content that we're working on for the future and we'd love for you to be a part of it.